Welcome our next sponsor and thank you so much for helping us making this possible again. We have Fabian from Ashur here and um, please one applause for the sponsorship yeah and then I'm not sure what this is doing. I'm sorry. It's, it's um, you have some auto, you have, you have some automation running there. <clears throat> Good luck. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much, Stefan. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, yeah, as you already said, my name is Fabian Witz. I'm a CTO of Azure, and we uh, our goal is to uh, help to reduce uh, poverty and illness by uh, bringing uh, social security systems to the people that use them the most. Yes, okay, thank you very much. Okay, uh, quickly to me, uh, I worked as an IT consultant for the last 10 years, was in the insurance industry. And there I got like, uh, developed a lot of interest in insurance and also um, in blockchain. Uh, as part of the research labs, we uh, evaluated the blockchain technology since uh, 2017. And yeah, always keep looking on how we can improve uh, the space by applying some blockchain technology. And by the uh, beginning of the year, uh, two of my, three of my co-workers and me set out and founded the Azure Foundation, which go to research and develop, uh, promote uh, social security systems on blockchain and see if there's any value in doing that. Um, so as it turns out, uh, social security systems have a big impact on uh, economic and social development on countries. And if you look at the numbers, there's still over 4 billion people that don't have access to social security systems. And we kind of thought, um, okay, maybe like, we can do something there. And by using the blockchain, can we enable or can we bring more access to these people so they uh, can benefit from it? And, and, and uh, especially what there are for benefits by doing so. Um, this is why we set out and we uh, decided to first um, look at uh, pay-as-you-go pension systems and uh, how to port these to uh, the blockchain. Um, pay, uh, we start with pension systems because like they, of all social injustices, these have the biggest economical impact. And also uh, we decided to look at the pay-as-you-go uh, financing method because First of all, it's, uh, we think it's a good fit to the blockchain because you don't have to invest the money in the capital market. Um, and also, uh, a lot of uh, countries in Africa and also in Germany, which is uh, where we're from, um, use these uh, financing methods. So, yeah, that's, first of all, it was like we, we know the system very well, and second, a lot of countries use them, so we saw a lot of potential there. Um, in Germany, we kind of have a problem with the pension system today, because um, a pension system kind of depends on the birth rate, or actually on uh, the ratio of how many people pay into the system, to the ratio of how many pensioners you have. So, and in Germany, um, the numbers don't look very good today, but for example, if you look at Africa, these numbers looks, uh, much be look much better. So, we are kind of optimistic that for the foreseeable time, uh, pension systems based on pay-as-you-go financing method could work really well there. Um, this is why we set out and uh, we decided to get, uh, get our hands uh, dirty and uh, yeah, create a prototype of a pension system um, because we are very familiar with the German one. Uh, we, yeah, we built the German one. And if you look at a pension system that is financed by a pay as you go method, it works like this that the employee and the company, in some cases, uh, pay into a specific percentage of the income into the pension system and get uh, pension points in return. And once they uh, retire, uh, the pension points are used to calculate uh, the pension they get. Um, and it's basically just collecting the money of all um, 
yeah, uh, employees over the course of a month and redistributing the money to the pensioners. And it turns out it's really, um, yeah, it's really a good use case to implement as a smart contract because there is nothing more to it. Um, in some cases, uh, there is the government who comes up with uh, all the money that is missing and in Germany that's the case and they put every, every uh, money that is missing they put in uh, and from tax basically. Um, so this is yeah, because they also make certain guarantees how much um, yeah, pension you will get. Um, okay, this is just a direct part of the German pension system we did and um, this is not really autonomous in any way. Uh, because like, yeah, the government still is in control of, of the parameters and like, wants to reform it. And uh, because we really believe in like, the decentralized autonomous companies and organizations, uh, we took a look and uh, built a second prototype where we tried to uh, remove um, the control of the government and um, yeah, build kind of an autonomous um, pay-as-you-go pension system. And the big challenge there is that Normally, uh, the pay-as-you-go financing methods must be mandatory, so you can kind of guarantee a stable income in the future, um, which is not the case there if you remove that component, uh, which is why we kind of try to uh, tokenize the pension points and incentivize people to join the system earlier, uh, pay longer, and uh, yeah, retire later, basically. Um, yeah, this is a prototype we built on uh, East Berlin. And uh, we were, uh, yeah, the, the results were kind of interesting. Um, we have to do like more work on that and more research to really figure out if that's like a viable option to do. So yeah, we're really interested in that and uh, where that will end. Uh, what we learned from our building these uh, two prototypes is that we think this uh, financing method, the pay as you go works really well on blockchain because as I said you don't have to take money out of the system and have to invest it anywhere um, and if you if you look at um, like larger communities for example like a whole country and imagine you want to introduce um, a pension system for Germany then it would require a lot of transaction and we can, we assume like a worst case of one transaction per month per user so result in 17 million transactions. So depending on how large the community is, you want to introduce these pension systems, you need a lot of transactions. Uh, and we don't think it's a viable or feasible to implement that on Ethereum mainnet, uh, which is why we are currently working on the Azure network. And the basic idea behind the Azure network is what the industry uh, goes, uh, goes today. Um, not every use case has to be on the Ethereum mainnet. You can split out um, specific use cases and host them on their special proposed blockchain and just connect them back to the Ethereum mainnet to uh, make assets flow between them. Um, this is uh, where we go and in our vision, uh, in the future you might be able to set up uh, Azure network specifically for a social security system for your community. If it's a small community, a town, a country, uh, yeah, it will be very interesting for us to see in which direction that goes. Um, yeah, if you want to know more about what we do about the Azure network, uh, want to talk about social security, um, I guess we have some time to ask some questions. Follow us on Twitter if you like. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please give a hand to Fabian. Do we have any questions in the audience for Fabian? Again, in the very back. Very good. No? Uh, um, depends on. Ah, there we go. Uh, a government investing it basically in infrastructure in the country and basically paying it back out when the promises need to be kept. Um, obviously that grows. So, yeah, I, I think basically, so the German pension system work, there is no money invested in the capital market. It's really just a pure uh, pay-as-you-go system. Like the money that goes in get redistributed right away. 
and there is some money missing which comes from the government. That is true. Um, this, there is only money missing because the government makes certain promises about how much we guarantee your pension. For example, in our prototype that where we remove the government component, we are not able to like, get money from, from nowhere, so we can obviously only redistribute what people pay into the system. But yeah, but many many people use like kind of a mixed scheme. I, I'm not sure if you know if you mean that that like some capital is invested or not. Well, I, I think you, you won the favorable situations that the energy ecosystem starts with some people mm -hmm. start paying in before they go. Um, I, otherwise, we'll just end up with a kind of a, a redistributive system where exactly just continually subsidizing it. And with a pension, you're supposed to be saving or something, and that will be supposed to go somewhere. <laughs> So you're kind of you're missing a lot of money here, basically. That's the problem. The problem. Yeah. You don't need to have the problem if you start with a group of people who aren't yet retired, right? And they pay it, and then you go to fund, and then you can pay it back out. And then you do it like that. Okay. I, I, I don't have an answer, but I, I would love to talk with you two over that. Thank you. Well, we could say so we resolve this political issue later in the coffee break. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, another applause for Fabian. Thank you. Thank you very much.